What's up, everybody? Blue Gabe. Are y'all ready to go on another Bahamian adventure? So we just got back. If you haven't watched my last video, I show you all kinds of cool stuff that we did spearfishing underwater. Well, it wasn't until this morning that I woke up and realized I forgot to show y'all an entire section of this huge wreck underwater that we found and we got to snorkel. And I'm gonna show you that in a minute. And I'm also gonna show you catching a mahi-mahi. On the way back from spear fishing, we found this huge structure and it had dolphin under it. We're gonna show you that. But first, before we even get to cooking, I wanna show you something really cool because typically I show you products at the end, but by then some of y'all aren't watching. So we have a new cooler sponsor called Gator Coolers. And what they're known for, besides making really, really cool coolers, is they have dividers, which nobody else really has. They have these really cool alligator handles, and they can put your logo, any kind of logo or a picture. I actually have another cooler outside that has a picture of me and my kids on it, and I just got these in today. I'm super excited. These are actually for my mud boat that you see me do all of my freshwater fishing and fish gigging out of. I wanted a matching set, that way it looks good. I mean, we've spent a lot of money and did a lot of hard work to get that boat. It's my dream boat, and I wanted an awesome set of coolers. So this is my logo that I'm gonna soon put on some hats. It's a B with a G in it, obviously for Blue Gabe. If you want one of these coolers, go in the link in the description below this video or any of my recent videos, and you will find Gator Coolers. And if you use my promo code Blue Gabe, you can save 10%, which is a good chunk because coolers aren't cheap. And if you get a good cooler, they'll last forever. Now, this isn't a product shout out. This is my new archery target. And Kelly doesn't even know what I'm about to tell y'all. She asked, why did I buy a reindeer? Well, last year was Kelly's first year hunting. And she shot a couple four pointers, but we were hunting for big deer. So I figured a whitetail didn't have quite big enough of a rack to get her attention. So I figured I'd get a reindeer. And if she practices on this, seeing big racks, maybe come deer season here in a few weeks, she'll know more of what a big rack looks like. So we can leave the little babies alone. <laughs> Look at her right now. She had no idea I was about to say that. So maybe, you know, you know, you, you, you spend time looking at that big rack, then when a little four-pointer walks out, you're like, oh, no, that's a baby. We're not, we're not going to shoot him. We're going to shoot a big one. I shoot what I want. <laughs> so this is the dolphin that you saw a couple videos back that we got mounted. And we took the grouper that y'all are used to seeing and put him out here. Go down there and show him your big one. And I'll meet mm. you outside with the fish. No, take that back. We still got to put seasoning. Show them that. Meet me back inside. All right. So this is my big mahi cow dolphin from Puerto Rico when we went there mm, five months ago. And she is looking beautiful hanging above the door. And that is a massive cow mahi. All right, a cow buddy. stands for a female. Yes. So before we get back to spear fishing and catching some dolphin, AKA Mahi Mahi, we're gonna cook some. Now, I was going to show y'all cleaning one. I had it on my agenda. It was laying on the cutting board, but I ended up trying to amputate my thumb. Had to go to the hospital and didn't get a chance to clean it. But you guys have seen us clean so many fish and you're gonna see us clean more dolphin in the future. So I don't think it's a big deal. I'm gonna teach you or show you how to make a really, really healthy, fun, good dinner. Because one thing that everybody's dealing with right now is COVID. And the one thing that all news media platforms on both sides, the right and the left, aren't saying is it helps to be healthy. Now, Kelly and I aren't super healthy, and I'm not gonna preach to you about being crazy healthy, but just imagine how much better off we would all be if we got out and exercised a little bit more, ate just a little bit more healthy, fed our kids a little bit more healthy food. That way when you get sick, you can rebound. And here I have butter, garlic, and some fresh lime. Because I'm actually putting this fish on the grill. This copper mat right here, a fan sent us a while ago. And if you grill fish, 
it's a game changer because the smoke and the flames can go through it, but the fish doesn't stick, doesn't fall apart at all. I can't wait to show you all the footage of this wreck that we were snorkeling. So pretty. All right, that's that. If you're wondering what this is right here, Anytime Kelly and I are cooking, we're always snacking on something. Yes, it's not healthy. Again, I said I'm not preaching healthy, but you can try to be a little bit more healthy. This is a dip that I fell in love with years ago. You just add some olive oil, some good French bread, eat a little bit before. You don't have to worry about everybody digging into your main entree. All right, let's go. No bloopers for you to film that time. Mm -hmm. Then take some of this pineapple. That's the best part. Bang. All right, while that fish is cooking, I'm going to start getting everything ready. But I want to take you back to Port Lakaya, which is on Grand Bahama where we stayed. I woke up to the calmest ocean I've seen and I don't even know how long in a beautiful sunrise. Well, from there we had a 31 mile run to where we were gonna spearfish, which is called the Gingerbread Grounds. And there's this big ship that's really, really withered away. If you swam up to it, you wouldn't even think it was a ship. But when I put the drone in there and went up, I was like, there it is. There's a skeleton of the boat. We all jumped in and shot a few fish. So. Let's go watch a little bit of that, and when we get back, I'm going to make the plate, then I'm going to take y'all dolphin fishing, because y'all are all here for the mahi-mahi and the big floating dock that I was standing on, so we are going to see that, just not yet. Let's go spear fishing. <laughs> that thumping noise you just heard was me communicating with Kelly, pointing out that beautiful trumpet fish, which is the long tubular fish that I just pointed at. Now the reason I don't play music in a lot of my videos when we're under the water is because I want you to hear what we're hearing. That way you get that real true feeling that you're with us down there underneath the water. Now enough of that, let's go spear some dog snapper. This pole sphere is legit right here.
But can y'all smell that? Babe, you see the steam rolling off of it? Yep. It's going to be so good. All right, now it's time to go fishing while this cools off a little bit. So we're heading back in from where we were spear fishing, and you got to cross like a 25 to 30 mile stretch of really, really deep ocean. And in the middle, it's called the canyon. We saw birds, set out on them, and caught one nice skipjack tuna, which to me is like my favorite tuna ever to eat, trolling just little feathers. I wonder what it is. Tuna. I think it's a blackfin. Couldn't pull any big fish off of it, so we're running back even harder. And that's when we stumbled across this floating dock, and y'all just watch it from here. Then we're gonna eat. There's a dolphin here. He'll eat this lure. What is it? Floating dock. Someone's dock. Someone's floating dock. I'd like to find that halfway home. Yeah. It's a nice dock too. It's not been in the water long. It's covered in bait fish though. Okay. I'm ready. Covered in bait. That's a dolphin. God, how are there no fish on that? The question is what's inside of the floating dock? I don't know how to hit them though. and see what's inside it. So we just spotted two mahis right here. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh. There they are, right there. I'll get in a free frog. I need a little setup. Yeah, I got it right here. A little small setup. I got the GoPro rolling. A little small setup. I'm outriggers though. Grab that setup. Here, Dave, watch it. Try to catch a couple of them. They're dolphin? Yeah. 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 Got yeah, that barracuda and we'll cut some chunks of it out. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna pull the barracuda. Some chunks? They're, so, they're acting like they've been touched before. Today. Yeah, they're. Let me throw these chunks? Yeah, a little bit. I got one. Yeah! There we go. I got one. Okay, that's it. We need the chunk. Yep. Come on. Okay. Okay, we got the gal. Got it. Okay. We got the camera. He's running around. He's running. I got He's it. Running. <laughs> running for the engine. Get the other gal. Is it All right there? The bigger one? Okay. Yeah, bring the bigger one. 
He's coming up oh. top. Let's go. There you go. It's always nice when you're headed in and you find something it's floating. My, my, my idea. I see a couple oh. of them. He's a, oh, he's trying he's to right do here. something to, to me right now. He's trying to get away. Nice oh, one too. Dang, oh, cap it, cap it. Oh, that's oh no, 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 hold on. Escaped the duck. Get down. That is a ye um, yellow tail. It's a big old yellow tail. Yellow tail. Huge yellow tail. Woo! Hold on, hold on. There you go. Beautiful. Oh, beautiful job. Awesome. You got him? Get, get the camera on him, the next one. It's the yellow biggest tail. rainbow runner I think I've ever oh, it's seen. Oh, it's a, a rainbow, rainbow runner. runner. Okay. okay. I was just going to say, it looks like yellow tail, but... Can you eat that? Yeah. It is a massive rainbow runner. I got the last bull yeah. on the dolphin. Yeah, Anybody want to fight? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Looks like Gabe has a good bull dolphin on. Let me get behind you. Okay. Anybody need to fight? Come on. Let's do it. Here. <laughs> we got him. I'm gonna wipe the lens real quick. Beautiful dolphin. Nice and steady. Oh, there's the other one. There it goes. Woo! Oh, oh. Beautiful. Like I always say, I'm opportunistic. We're running in, we've got another 20 miles back to the dock and we come across this floating dock out in the middle of nowhere, it's glass calm. Just caught a nice bull dolphin and the biggest rainbow runner I've ever seen in my life. We've got a little bit, I don't know, three or four more swimming around the boat. We're gonna try to catch them. That was a huge rainbow runner and a really nice dolphin too. I didn't even think about cooking the rainbow runner or getting a thumbnail with him, even though it was probably the biggest I've ever seen. But that bull dolphin was extremely nice and we're about to eat him. Now, for those of y'all that aren't into salads, trust me when I tell you I didn't used to be either. I grew up as country as country gets. But as older I get, I realize with different flavors, you can make salads taste amazing. So I'm gonna just put, yeah, that was hot. It didn't have time to cool off. I've had people tell me you can't do grill marks with a pellet grill. I don't, uh -oh. I don't, I don't know about all that. What looks are those? Like, looks like grill marks to me. <laughs> Grilled pineapple just puts, I'm gonna save that piece for I think breakfast in the morning. Ah. Puts a Florida touch to it. Yeah, pineapple is so good. Couple pieces of cucumber. That's Kelly, because she loves cucumber. I'm not a huge fan. I actually grew up eating cucumber sliced like this. My mom would put it in a bowl with vinegar, and we literally have it at every meal. A couple cherry tomatoes. Like Kelly loves here, tomatoes. Tomato. I've got one more secret for those of y'all that are right now saying, Gabe, I don't eat salads. Like, come on, give me a steak or some potatoes. Give me something that I can actually eat. Now, most of y'all are saying right now that looks pretty amazing. But I got one more surprise for you. For all y'all that were, I don't need to eat healthy, I am healthy. Well, I got a treat for you too. I made some potatoes in the oven and these are so good. Mm, nice and look, they have that golden brown. Yep. Just because we swam about 14 miles this weekend and we earned a little treat. Look at that. Now here's where I'm gonna throw you for a loop. So I use salt and butter on the fish. You gotta try this dressing right here. You gotta use your fingers though or it'll pour out like crazy. And it looks good too. The colors are insane. Pretty food is healthy. Y'all, how much do you think that would be at a five-star restaurant? 
Um, uh, probably about thirty-five bucks a plate. Yeah, and it would be fish that was caught about four years ago. Look at that. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. Mm. I'm gonna let Kelly try it. Do you like dolphin? Is it one of your favorite fish? Mahi mahi. It is sorry. very good. It used to be my favorite. That's cooked to perfection. Delicious. That's because I'm a perfectionist, babe. That's why the house is so clean. <laughs> it's really good. <laughs> so I had somebody the other day in, in the comments say, that's a terrible paint job on that mahi. They matched the picture that I sent them so well it's scary. That's just one of those dolphins that comes up and he was an odd color and that's how he looked when we caught him. And they did an amazing job, I think, mm. don't you? Looks good to me. You gotta think he's so big, like, he got stressed out. I mean... He... I've seen them all different colors. Yeah. A lot more green than blue, then a lot more blue than green. Oh yeah, I've seen dolphins that are purely blue and white. Yeah. And I'm like, is that a dolphin? <laughs> but that one looks exactly like he did when we caught him. I like the yellow eye. Try a little bit of that pineapple with the raspberry sauce in it. Pineapple and raspberry sauce. Grilled pineapple and raspberry sauce. You know what they say about tastes, pineapple, right? Tastes like a dessert. Pineapple's good for inflammation, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> just letting you know. All right, so for those of y'all that don't know, deer season is just right around the corner here in Florida. It actually starts this weekend. And I don't know why Kelly's parents had to do what they did. On opening weekend, they gave birth to Kelly. So me, instead of getting to go deer hunting, your parents had to mess Are it all really? up. Yes, your birthday is opening day <laughs> of Florida's archery season in the central zone, which is where we're located. August so 29th? Thanks a lot. <laughs> No way. Yeah. That's well, it, it falls a little bit different every year, but yeah. this year, your birthday is on opening day. <laughs> can we go celebrate in a tree stand? Only if I can bring a cupcake. Yeah. Well, <laughs> Luke would be down for that. Luke might even want to go. <laughs> Me and Luke can sit in a blind together and eat cupcakes. Yeah. I hope y'all are enjoying these style videos. It's just a lot easier on Kelly and I, especially when we don't have cameraman. You know, Robert has Austin. Well, Kelly and I film each other, but we're also trying to film two different videos for two different people. So the style video that you've been seeing me do is what fits our schedule. And then we can show you projects at home, things that we do. You can be part of our more personal life. That way each video you, you get to see like the mounts on the wall and what we're doing and what the kids are doing. And we appreciate y'all following along. It's greatly appreciated, I promise. So right now I'm gonna start eating because she's gonna eat. And before I get done, she'll be saying, can I do the dishes or can I go build the couch or can you go out and do something in the yard? So I need to get to eating. Mm, I need you to help me put the backs on the chairs in the front patio. Yeah, see, you, you men feel me. Y'all feel me right now. Except right now your wife's elbowing you and you feel me. You're like, yeah, I feel you, Blue Gabe. Listen, I put together the whole porch set. I just need your help with the backs. <laughs> Babe. I don't go do three of the four bearings on the trailer and say, babe, I got almost all the bearings done, but I, I need help on the last little bit. No, I just do it. I tried. I need like, I don't know. It, <laughs> it came with short screws. I have no idea how it's supposed to connect. So. I wouldn't trade her for anything, even though she was born on opening day of archery season. So maybe after a few years, I can start getting to hunt on that particular day. But right now, I guess we're going to go to dinner somewhere. She tried to tell me I was putting a tie on, but that ain't happening. I'm 41 and I've never wore a tie in my life. I swore I would make it a whole life, a whole, my whole life would never wear one. So if they put one on me in the grave, like in my casket, I would be so pissed. Um, we're going to dance too for my birthday. I want to dance. I'm going to accidentally stub my toe. I've no, already... y'all. Tell Blue Gabe in the comments below that he needs to go dancing with me. Because I love dancing. I'm going to drop it like it's hot. You need to dance with me. I'm going to drop it like it's hot. Have a drink. Dance. Have some fun. All right, y'all. Like Jake always says, it's time to get up out of here and get the heck out of shape. <laughs>